Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about for loops in Java. Loops in real life involves repetition of a same task multiple times. Consider example of Ross. Every day Ross wakes up, meet his girlfriend Rachel, goes to work, then come back to home for sleeping and next day he repeats the same task again. Ross is performing this action in a loop. Similarly in programming, if we want to perform task again and again, we use loop. Loop in Java is a handy tool that lets your program to repeat the task multiple times. We can implement loops in Java using two types. First is using for loop and second is using while loop. In this video, we will focus on for loop. For loop has three parts. First is starting something, next is deciding when to stop and third what to do each time. It's like saying start here, do until you reach to this point. For example, if you want to print code words 5 times, then instead of writing print statement 5 times, we can write print statement inside a for loop. Along with the printing, if you want to perform some other operation, you can mention them inside the parenthesis. Now for for loop to work, we have to perform 3 steps. First is initialization which is starting the loop. In this step, we initialize variable with a starting value. For example, i is equal to 0. Second is a condition which is stopping the loop. In this step, we specify when the loop should stop. For example, we can say stop the loop when value of i becomes 5, meaning loop should run until the value of i is less than 5. And third step is increment. In this step, we increment or decrement the value of i. For example, we can say i is equal to i plus 1, meaning every time the loop runs, this value of i will be increased by 1. So in the first step, we initialize value of i. In second step, we will check condition every time when loop runs. If the condition is valid, then task mentioned in parenthesis will be executed. In the last step, value of i will be increment by 1 every time when loop runs. Now let's see how the program will execute in the loop. First program will check the initialization condition, which is i is equal to 0. Then it will check the condition mentioned in a loop. Currently the value of i is 0 which is less than 5. So program will execute the statement which is written in parenthesis. In our case it will print code verse. After printing the program it will go to increment step meaning the value of i will be increased by 1. Now the current value of i is 1. So the program will check if the condition is valid or not. In our case 1 is less than 5. So the condition is true and then program will again print code verse. After printing value of i will be increment by 1. So the new value of i is 2 and condition is true. So the program will again print code verse. Again the value of i will be increment by 1. The new value is 3. The condition is true. So code verse will be printed again. For next iteration, value of i will be increased by 1 and new value is 4 and again condition is true so we will print code verse. And now for the fifth time, value of i will be increment and the new value is 5. Now the condition mentioned in the loop become false. Note that condition is i less than 5, not i less than equal to 5. So when i becomes 5, loop will break and the print statement won't get executed. Now instead of printing code words, if you want to print numbers from 0 to 4, you can just print value of i inside parenthesis. Again, if you want to print numbers from 0 to 10, change the condition from i less than 5 to i less than equal to 10. Now let's write a simple Java program to print even numbers from 1 to 20 using for loops. First we have to write class and main method. We will name our class as even odd using loops. Now inside the main method, we will write for loop. For loop will start with i is equal to 1 because we want to print numbers between 1 to 20. So the stopping condition will be i less than equal to 20 and the incremental condition will be i is equal to i plus 1. Inside the for loop, we have to write logic to check if i is even or not. We can use the modulo operator to check if the number is even or not. If i modulo 2 is 0, that means number is even. So we will put print statement inside the if condition. And that's it. Now our code for even odd program is ready. So let's jump to Eclipse and execute this. It's the same program which we discussed in the video. First we are creating a for loop and then checking whether the number is even or not and after checking it we are printing it. So let's save it and execute it. To execute the program we'll right click on this run statement. As you can see this has printed all the even numbers which is starting from 2 and ends at 20. That's it for today's video. See you in next video.